And son, that's some good eating right there. Uh, we went fishing yesterday. And we caught this during the tournament. It's not a bass, so but home. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. It's Connery from Out of Work. Hua is behind the camera, and today we're cooking uh, Hua's sauger that he caught from a tournament yesterday. Looks like this. Some people know, know it as a walleye also. Same family, but look at it. Look how cool it looks. Look at the eyes. Mm. The white meat looks good, huh? Yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. You ready to go? All right, you're gonna go, okay. So you need a steamer like that. A big steamer, hot water, and the steaming area. And get yourself Tupperware. You can use glass container as well. But something that just won't melt. And then you get your your steak pieces. You just lay them on the bottom like that. Just like that. We even got some eggs too. It's good stuff. And then you just lay everything. Kind of layer it out, you know. Layer it out just like that. out how good that looks probably the best eating fish in the United States the walleye walleye saga area family here we go see just like that and for the brave soul gets the entire head just like that look at that that's an entire walleye saw guy 20 inches it's fits in a bowl like this and then all to so let's do the vegetables uh vegetables keep it pretty simple we got onions just kind of spread it out like that onions oh yeah, and then meat on the bottom vegetables on top because uh once the steam comes on the steam will pretty much uh make water into this so you don't have to add water or anything and basically will basically melt everything down so that's the idea get some cherry tomatoes and some diced garlic spread it around you just want a good layer on top that's what you want that's what you want and we got ginger also okay so that looks pretty good right now Basically, you want to cover all the meats, just like that. And then we can add some more. Lemongrass, just on top like that. Cilantro and green onions to top it all off. It looks like it's a lot, but it's actually not, okay? This dish, a lot of people, they actually just want to eat the green onions and the cilantro. It's actually one of the inside jokes of the community. Okay, so it looks like this. You want some chili peppers on top. You put them right in the middle, you know? Oh, we forgot something. Hmm? We forgot something. What did we forget? Let's go over here to this magical tree. Get some, get some magical leaves for your fish stew. The smaller ones are better. Ooh, smells good already. Okay, we wash that. Wash it fresh. This is how fresh it is. This smells good, dude. This smells really good. All right, we gotta dice it up a little bit. I'm not a chef, so don't judge me too hard. Right on top, just like that. And we gotta add our uh, oil. Oils and salts and peppers. So this dish is fairly simple. It's probably the probably the most healthy as you can get. So salt. Be generous. Fish tastes better with salt. Well, the thing is, there's nothing in here that has salt, so you have to give it some salt. So that's, I think that's just about right. And then you got some uh, oyster sauce. That's the best brand that we like. 
especially when it goes to fish. You know? Add a little bit like that. Yeah, a little bit more. That's a lot of fish. I usually give that much if it's only for like crappies or something. But other than that, it's probably a good amount. Black pepper. And a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil, because there's literally no oil fat in here, so you're gonna have a little bit just to help it out. So you got throw it in the steamer on high, and we wait about 30 minutes. Okay, close it, crank it up to high. Countdown. 30 minutes later, you go. Okay, it smells really good now. Check it out. Oh, not yet, guys. Not yet. It's almost there. Woo! Ugly. I think it's ready. There you go. You know it's ready when everything here is like turning yellow and, and the liquid becomes almost level with all your fish. You, know, you look at your fish, it's just like falling apart when you pick it off like that. So you know. And then and then you gotta go in for the taste test. See if all your efforts are worth it. See if all the 14 hours of fishing and losing $20 in the more is worth it. Mmm. It's so worth it. So good. Mmm. Mmm. That's right, guys. We'll serve it here in a couple minutes. Show you guys how to how to serve this, okay? Always serve it with some rice, just like that. Then, go in for the tail. So, there's there's meat on the bottom, and there's a lot of liquids, and then there's a lot of uh, veggies up top. So what you gotta do is uh, just scoop away some of this lemongrass, because you don't eat the lemongrass, okay? And then, you want to go in from the top layer, then go to the bottom layer, right? So what you want to do is you want to find yourself a nice piece of meat that you want. Oh, here's a nice piece. So you got that. And then you take that. Put it right next to it. Get yourself some liquids. Put it on top of your rice. Just like that. And then you come back. Some more greens. Yeah, I do it on the side. It's going be better. More greens and more meats and more greens and of course get yourself a chili pepper and that's it make sure you give enough broth soak up that rice a little bit just like that and that's it man you just go at it damn that's really good all right bye right, guys See you guys on the next one. Let me know if you guys like these type videos. Sub to the channel and give me a thumbs up. He likes it too. He likes it too. Mm. Ding. 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 Yeah. Knuckle. <laughs> Knuckle. Knuckle. Yeah. yeah.